Hi guys, I'm Emerald. I'm a self-taught graphic designer and today I have a little design challenge for myself. So I do these a lot. It's like a 30 minute brand challenge where I'll get inspired by a photo on Unsplash and then turn it into a brand. This is very casual. This is very fun. Again, I am self-taught. Like I'm not saying that you're going to be delivering these to clients, but like instead of watching TikTok, it's a fun thing to do. I already kind of have a vision for this and I have the photo that I'm gonna be inspired from and I want this to be a tea company and I just want it to be like very sunny, like a girl in a sundress with a tote bag walking along like a cobblestone street. I already have all of my photos set up and I'm just gonna get started. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I got my mood board in. So now I'm just gonna work on trying to like solidify the brand. So I'm gonna choose some colors based off of this photo. I already have the name. I'm gonna go with Marigold and I'm gonna try to start working on the logo right now. And this logo isn't gonna be anything too complex. It's just gonna be words. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. But I'm just gonna pick all of my favorites and then pick one. Okay, I've gotta make decisions. <laughs> I'm really feeling this one. I like her a lot. And then I'm gonna use this plugin called Artboard Studio Mockup and I'm gonna start pulling mockups of actual tea and tea boxes. So I like when I do these challenges to design the logo on the product itself because sometimes you'll get a logo and it looks really nice just flat but when you put it on the box it's a little bit too like overwhelming, too thin so it's nice kind of cutting through all of that stuff. So. Let me try this one on this box and see how it looks. Okay, I'm kind of excited now. So I'm just gonna make up some of this tea stuff. I usually just like Google it when I am filling in the blank. And I know that I want to have like a kind of florally like bad shape for the actual like logo area itself. And I think these little like star elements could be really cute. That one kind of looks like a cross, which is not what I'm going for, but that's okay. Then I'm gonna name the actual T and I want a nice sand serif to contrast with like the very ornate serif that I'm using as the logo. And then I'm just gonna start building this out. I don't know what I'm doing. I want it to be like kind of vaguely floral, like flourishes. Ah, that that's supposed to be a lemon. That doesn't look like a lemon. Please don't roast my shape skills. I'm trying my hardest. Just smoothing everything out. Okay, okay. Um, can no lemon, please lemon. Yes, that, yeah. And I think like maybe a flower in the center could be really cool and I want it to look kind of like a heart and I want to add these so that it's like more like centered and there's like a little bit of like an elegance and those like long lines. I don't know, it makes more sense in my head. Okay, and then I'm just gonna copy and flip it, reflect. Oh my god, I'm spending way too much time on this. I'm almost out of time. Ah. Okay, I'm loving it. The star needs to be a little better. And that's an easy fix. I want it to be a little skinnier. I'm really liking how this looks. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I failed, but this looks super cute. I'm gonna give myself another 30 minutes. This is gonna be a hour brand challenge because I really like this and I wanna give it just like a little bit more love. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do another 30 minutes, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna begin on the side of the box but I wanna pick my colors on the front first. So I'm just gonna go in and try to like fine tune the color of the lemons. Oh, I kinda like this pink. I need something with like more contrast. Oh, but that looks so darling. Okay, I'm keeping the pink. So I'm gonna have this pattern on the sides. Oh, I love it. And then I'm gonna have like a little text box and I think I'm gonna make it look like a little tea bag if I can. And just a little like shadow so that contrasts. I think I'm gonna write a little note. It's really cheesy, but I think that's really cute. That's so cheesy, but I kinda like it. It's cute. 
you won't be able to read it in the mock-ups. So now I have like the actual logo. So I'm gonna go back into that first slide that I made and just plug it into my presentation space and see if it matches like the photo, the inspiration photo. I gotta remove the lemons cause they don't really make sense. And I think this one's okay to kind of modify because it is like the logo and it's not like a flavor. And I think I'm gonna actually take a different photo that matches a little bit better. I'm really digging this beige and blue actually. So I'm gonna go in and start making other flavors. And I'm gonna use all the colors that I used from my first flavor, the lemon ginger one and these ones. Oh my God, I love this blue. And I think I could change lemons to like little moons or something. Oh, I love them. This is so darling. I don't like the green. I want it to be more like moody. Oh my God, they look so cute together. The pink is way better. Okay, and then I'm gonna do one last flavor. And I'm just gonna kind of play around with the colors and see what matches the other ones. I really wanna use this like baby pink and the yellow for chamomile. And I think I'm gonna swap out the moons for like these little flowers. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh, I love them so much. And then I'm just gonna go into Unsplash and pull like a background and kind of try to fake that it's in like a cute little kitchen somewhere and just play around the colors using overlays. And I know that the time's expired again, but I'm enjoying this, don't judge me. And then I'm gonna take my first little mock-up that I made and I'm gonna add this little teacup. So this is as far as I got to, but I'm gonna take a little bit of time and make a small little branding just using these ones and show you the final project. I know I went over time, but I really love this. I had so much fun doing this video and if you have any suggestions for what I should do next, just let me know. I would love to do them and yeah. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.